So, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't really care to watch this movie, and going into it, I basically knew nothing. I think I saw maybe a trailer, the poster looked kinda uninspired, and the fact that it was just getting dumped on Disney+, Plus, not even for a premium feature, kinda made me think it'd be mediocre. To top it off, I haven't really loved everything Pixar's been putting out recently, especially with all those sequels. But boy, was I wrong. Pixar's Luca sways away from feeling the need to be some high concept film about where our emotions live, or where the dead reside, or whatever. It's a simple film about friendship and learning to fully embrace who you are without holding back. And that's honestly what made Luca really special. It's a film that thrives in simplicity, which is what we need more in Pixar. But before I fully get into it, I just want to say if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to stay updated with me and my content, just follow my Twitter at Matthew. Alright, let's get into it. So as I mentioned earlier, I have I haven't really been too big of a fan of the recent Pixar movies. 2020 had a bit of a return to form with Onward and Soul, however, there was still something that felt off about it, and that's because they were both films that were trying to do something really high concept. With Onward, it's got a whole new world to explore with different lore, and it feels a little lost at points, but I still love it. Soul is way more high concept with his deeper and complex themes about our purpose in life and life after death. I enjoy Soul, but the thing with it is that there's a lot of exposition to explain the stuff about souls, and the rules about the place, and it just sort of gets trapped with within its own concept at times, instead of just keeping a tighter focus on the humanity of it all. From 2016 to 2019, Pixar was forced to just make a bunch of sequels, and while I don't think any of them were necessarily awful or bad, they severely dropped in quality from the original films in my opinion. So what makes Luca special and different from these, and why do I consider it to be top tier Pixar? So Pixar is known to deliver extremely hard-hitting movies with grand concepts like toys coming to life or humans living in outer space, talking fish, and so on and so forth. So Luca is literally a fish out of water and a coming-of-age film about a young boy who is half fish and half sea monster. His parents want one life for him while Luca wants to go into another direction after he experiences a bit of the real world and a new friend. Doesn't this sound really generic and something we've seen a hundred times? Well, yes, but that's sort of why the movie works. It rejects the notion that we need something super high concept, mind-bending, and imaginative, it realizes that movies can thrive off of simplicity. At its core, Luca is about the bond and strength of unconditional friendship. The first 30 minutes of the film are just purely Luca and his friend Alberto, sharing various intimate moments in their blossoming friendship. The basic premise is that Luca runs away from home with Alberto because his parents were going to send him away with his uncle. Their plan is to go to town and win this race which will hopefully give them enough money for a Vespa so they can travel around the world together. With that being said, the movie is only focused on the friendship in the film which means a lot of the other segments in the film don't really get flashed out as much, but in order to probably talk about it, I do need to get to some spoilers. So the simplicity of it all does sort of falter in a sense at times because, for example, the bully doesn't really get any depth to him. He's just sort of a jerk for no reason, which is honestly fine to me personally, but it does make for a slightly less compelling story when the antagonist is sort of flat. The parents being okay with Luca going out into the world is also a little jarring. Same with the people who suddenly accept sea monsters into society, considering that throughout the whole movie, most of the townspeople wanted to bring them down and kill them. So it sort of just ignores all these other layers in the film alongside some supporting characters, but quite honestly, that's still sort of okay with me. I really don't need to dig deep into this movie. With that being said, there are still things in the movie that you can dig a little deeper to in terms of interpretation. For example, a lot of people see the film as a gay allegory. The sea monsters represent well, the gay people or any other oppressed minorities, which is strengthened here at the end when we see this sea monster couple feel safe enough to come out to society. The grandma even saying, Some people, they'll never accept him, but some will. <laughs> and he seems to know how to find the good ones. Which I think is a really beautiful message for everyone to hear. The reason why I love Lucas so much despite its simplicity is the fact that it really is just so wholesome and earnest. It actually showcases our world in a really grand and fantastical space because Luca is so fascinated by literally everything, which is made so much better by that phenomenal score composed by Dan Romer. Romer completely captures the absolute awe and fantasticalness that Luca sees. He's fascinated by Vespa's, the stars, pasta, an amazing best friend, and more. 
Now, by the end of the movie, Alberto sells the Vespa in order for Luca to go to school, and presumably, there isn't enough money for Alberto to go along with him. I think this is just utterly fantastic. I don't think we've really ever seen best friends to do something so spectacularly kind for each other, just because they care so much. Usually, this would only happen if the two leads had some sort of romantic interest with each other, and like I said, that interpretation is completely valid, and I think they totally could be in love with each other. But the thing is, Luca is not a romance movie, which in my opinion, is completely refreshing as we really don't often see unconditional love for someone else purely just based on friendship. And the movie The Half of It, which is on Netflix, also does a really good job of it if you want to watch that movie. In conclusion, we don't always need to do kind things for each other out of romantic interest, we don't always need to go that deep into villains, sometimes they can just be jerks and that's all there is to it. We don't always need to explore these grand new fantastical worlds like Coco or Onward to be Transported. Luca is a reminder that our world is already beautiful and and can be made even more so if we just learn to appreciate the simple things in life and learn to have a little less hate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video essay. If you're curious to know my rating of the film, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. And I also want to know, what did you guys think of Luca? Did you love the film? Was it too simplistic and it didn't really do anything for you? Whatever you thought, I'd love to know it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.